Traditionally, anglers have fished for flounder with natural bait, such as shrimp and mullet. But as times have changed, so have many of the preferences of fishermen. Today, jigging for flounder with soft plastics gives natural bait a run for its money in the popularity contest and effectiveness. Why? It's downright fun, especially when you feel the sudden thump as a flatfish slams your jig. And it also allows you to target the flatfish more directly. Jiggers have proven over time that they can be just as effective, if not even more, than bait anglers. Jigging can produce flounder year round, but especially during times of the year when natural forage is scarce, the trick is to fool them, not feed them. One, keep your lure active, very active. Jigging motions should be fast, sporadic, and your lure should never hang there or just sit on the bottom too long. Allow either to happen and any fish that may be eyeballing that bait will lose interest quickly. Obviously, you'll want to keep the jig near the bottom when flounder fishing, but fast, aggressive, upwards motions that do take the lure outside of the striking distance for a second or two will often trigger an attack when the jig falls back into range. So remember, constantly jig and jig widely. Two, cover a broad area, then rework that area. Unless the fish are utterly stacked upon one another in a very tight space, you'll want to each cast to work a new path. Once you've covered a certain section of the bottom, it's useless to keep hitting that same spot over and over and over again unless it's produced fish. And flounder don't just sit there waiting for their food to come to them. They will, and often do, cover ground and follow a jig, darting along the bottom before deciding to eat it. If you're bank fishing, choose a spot and then work an arc in front of you. If no fish are produced, move a bit and work that next area in the same motion. For wave fishing, begin working as soon as you touch the water. Continue moving and cast front, behind, left, and right of you. Don't be startled if you accidentally step on one. You should have cast at your feet. Three, stick with lures that fall without spiraling. Many of the paddle tail jigs and some twisters will spiral as they sink. And that's not a natural motion and that tends to turn the fish off. That's not to say you won't catch flounder using paddles and twisters, you certainly will. But if you opt for a straight or split tail jig that darts up and down without spiraling on the fall, you'll catch more. Along with these tips, all of the flounder fishing basics still apply. Look for the fish along drop-offs and sheer edges. Focus your efforts on clean water and sunny days. Try different colors, but expect white, chartreuse, and bright colors to commonly be the top producers. Move shallower on incoming and high tides, and move deeper during falling and low tides. And always remember that unlike fishing natural bait, when you're targeting flounder with jigs, you'll want to give that hook set the moment you feel the take. Give jigging form a shot. I bet it'll be a heck of a lot of fun and it'll be a great adventure. Let's get fishing. Because this is the song people, the life in the house that